What's up guys? For four weeks, I started class off like this. Today I'm drinking Dazbog Sumatra and it has a light acidity, a full body, a little bit smoky and a light spice on the finish. I know that sounds crazy, but I love this coffee. I know this coffee because I love this coffee. Dazbog Sumatra is an incredible coffee and we, we actually have a roaster here in Denver, Colorado. If you've never tried it, you should get online and you should order yourself some Dazbog. That is not a sponsor, by the way, but it could be if Dazbog's watching. I don't think you are, but it would be awesome if you are because I would love to have free coffee. Who wouldn't, right? Uh, Dazbog Sumatra. For four weeks, I started every single class like a YouTuber. You know that classic YouTuber intro like I just did where people are in front of the camera and they're like, what's up guys? Good to see you, how's it going? Yeah. And they're like really energetic, right? That's essentially what I did. My inspiration for starting every single class like a YouTuber was a man named Dave Burgess. And Dave Burgess wrote a book called Teach Like a Pirate and then a series of books after that that kind of fall into that. And I think he's still writing, he's not dead. Uh, he's an awesome energizer bunny in the classroom and he's all about putting together excellent lessons every single day. Like why not give it our absolute best? So I felt like the very least I could do in terms of engaging my students at the beginning of class is start off class super pumped and excited for them to be there and for the content they were going to learn. And I did it every single day. Along the way, I also kept track of how it went. Catch the clips now. All right, so today is day one of trying to start every class like a YouTuber. Every single class came through and I was like, what's up guys, so excited to see you. And, and some of that maybe was a little bit disingenuous, but I actually just got myself hyped before class every day. As each class came in, I would think about the reasons that I'm excited that they're here. And then I would just tell them, uh, how pumped I was and start every class off like really excited. What I notice, and maybe it's because it's the beginning of the, the quarter and so I have new students, maybe it's because of what I'm doing. I'm not sure yet. We'll have to do this for 30 days to really figure it out. But I'm noticing that I um, that the kids are way more engaged because I'm excited and I'm just pumped about what I'm talking about. And I think I'm generally a pretty excited person, but you know how the routine just starts to get to you after a while. And um, you know, it's now the seventh class for the fourth day of the week and it's just a little harder to be pumped. So my goal every single day for these 30 days is to start every class off like a YouTuber. What's up guys? And do that whole thing. And uh, we'll see how it keeps going so far. So good. What's up guys, I'm so excited that you're here today and I cannot wait to talk about today's subject. That's how I've been starting. Now this is the third day. This is day three of me starting every class like a YouTuber. And what I'm noticing is I have to start changing the way that I'm introducing class already. Um, because it kind of, if I see like the what's up guys, it's great to see you kind of thing, it kind of dies pretty quick. And it's not super genuine. Sometimes I don't feel. Now, um, I know I'm giving a negative. Overall, I really like the results. And I think over the course of this month, you'll see me over here in my chair sharing uh, what I do like about starting every class like a YouTuber. Uh, but what I'm noticing right now that's a bit of a negative is it's somewhat disingenuous and I'm, I'm having to think through um, how I'm starting class off like a YouTuber. So like my second to last class of the day, um, earlier today when I, my, my like two classes ago before kids went home, um, I had a group of students in here and I was just like, I'm not feeling in the what's up guys mood. So instead of doing that, I was just like, Everybody, so excited about what we're doing today. We're continuing yesterday's project. And so, you know, maybe that's not exactly starting class off like a YouTuber, but the idea of starting class off with excitement and energy and um, some kind of hook that goes straight into the learning is going well so far. Um, something else I'm noticing day three, again, it's just day three. I do feel like when I start talking like that, when I change the intonation of my voice to be like pumped about something, um, two things happen. One, students 
immediately start paying attention. And I'm teaching sixth, seventh, and eighth grade students and fifth grade, but I'm, I'm, I mean, we're talking like eighth graders, right? We're talking about kids who uh, could not care less about the subject that they're learning. But when I start off class, like, hey guys, it's so good to see you. I hope you're doing well today. That for some reason just grabs them and they're all looking at me. Um, we have one-to-one uh, -one devices, so we're talking about the distraction of having iPads in the classroom. They're looking up from their iPads. They're not, um, they're not stuck, distracted by each other. Um, and that just like three-second hook, um, even if it's just an energy hook, that I'm not even like sh saying something that they're waiting to hear. Um, it just getting them pumped and or coming in pumped and like trying to get them pumped makes a difference. What's up guys? So I just had this realization. I was driving into work and something occurred to me. I have a side effect for starting the class like a YouTuber. By starting the class like a YouTuber with, with energy and excitement and let's get into the learning, that kind of mentality. Something I noticed is that I can't, it's disingenuous if, I, if I'm welcoming kids as they walk in like, good morning, good to see you, how you doing today? Okay, get started with your warm up, guys. Like, it's, it doesn't connect if I'm doing that and then I go ramp it up and I have all this energy. So, the side effect has been, over the last couple weeks, I've actually noticed, this is day uh, 17, no, 16, day 16, and I'm noticing that I, have been greeting students differently every single day. It just occurred to me. And I've actually noticed that I'm greeting kids intentionally, but it didn't occur to me why I was greeting kids intentionally. Now it's all coming together. Now it's all making sense to me. I'm greeting kids differently because subconsciously I knew I can't go from zero to 60. I have to greet students with energy before they come into class if I'm going to welcome them with all of this energy, right? So as students are coming in, and depending on, uh, as an elective teacher, some of my grades come in all at once and it's a passing period, and some of my grades come through and different different students are released at different times, so, so it really depends on which grade I'm teaching, but what I've noticed is um, as they're coming in, the way I'm welcoming them is so much more meaningful. I'm saying, Good morning, how are you? And it's it's very uplifting and very positive and lots of energy is being given to welcoming them. And I think that's definitely having an effect. I don't think it's just starting class like a YouTuber. I think it's that as they come in, I'm not just greeting them like any other day, it's a genuine good morning, it is so good to see you, how are you today? Like that type of mentality, and I have not strayed from that. As much as I have uh, had some tough times remembering to start class with all that energy, um, I have not stopped welcoming kids as they come in. And so the side effect of starting every class every day, like a YouTuber, is I'm welcoming students in a more meaningful and positive way, which is how I want to welcome students. Right, so it's the end of another day and it's the third week now and I'm thinking about this whole process of starting every single class off like a YouTuber and the way I'm processing this is really boiling it down to its simplest form. It's taking the time to think, I'm excited to be here and I'm excited about what we're learning today and I'm excited that you're on this journey with me. That's, that's what it boils down to and so I think in its simplest form, I feel like it's realistic. I feel like it's something that I can do every day and it's something that I can, I should be striving for, right? I should be striving and aiming for teaching classes that I'm excited to teach and teaching students that I can't wait to teach and teaching content that I'm excited for my students to learn. And if I can start off class like that every single day, then I will reap the benefits of my students believing that this is a class worth taking every single day, my students believing that this is a teacher that cares about them, that's what I want, right? What more do we want for our students? We want them to have opportunities, we want them to learn and love learning, and we want them to know that we care about them. Right, it is the last week that I am engaging my classes like a YouTuber, and I'm in my car, it is raining in the middle of January. That's so weird for it to rain, and 
I'm just uh, thinking about how this process has gone and what I'm impacted by. I'm letting my car heat up here. And I'm thinking specifically about the impact that we have on our classroom. And I'm, I'm getting a little bit uh, reflective right now as I'm thinking about it because we have a huge impact on how kids act in our class. The energy we bring into the room, the enthusiasm we have for the learning makes a massive change. And just by starting every single class off with high energy, even if I didn't express specific enthusiasm about the content, there was something about starting the class off like I'm, I, I'm excited to be there and I'm excited that they're on this journey with me. That was meaningful. That has meant something over the course of this last month and I'm, I'm really loving it. And it's changed the way that I've thought about how I welcome my students and that's massive and more on that now that my car's warmed up, more on that on the other side. So I just rolled up to my house and I just keep thinking to myself, how realistic is this for everyday life, for everyday teachers? There were definitely days where it has been hard to start the class with a ton of energy, but there have, there have also been a lot of benefits to pushing myself to get ramped up to learn in each class. And I feel like it's easy to fall into uh, patterns of kind of just doing every class like, oh, here we are again, and this is what we're doing today. And I think the, the bummer about that is there really is so much excitement in learning. And if we're not excited about it, and we, even if it's, it's not that we're not excited, it's just, if we don't convey that excitement or portray that excitement in a way that gets the students excited, then of course behavior is going to be worse. And of course students aren't going to be as enthusiastic about the learning process. So I think looking back and just trying to reflect on um, how realistic this is, my, my gut says it's uncomfortable, but it's worth doing. It isn't the most fun all the time. Sometimes it feels like you're trying to muster up some kind of energy that that isn't there, but there's something valuable about what it does when students are in and you're entering the room and you're making a meaningful connection with them as they come in, you're greeting them with a genuine smile and, and a truthful, I'm excited to see you, and then starting class with energy about the content that they're learning. Um, it pushes me to be more enthusiastic the rest of the class period. And that's valuable. And even though it's uncomfortable and even though sometimes it's harder, um, I'm going to keep starting my class off like a YouTuber. Wow. I never dreamed that I would have taken away that much information from a really simple challenge, starting class off like a YouTuber. I obviously, as you can tell along the way, got kind of tired of the what's up guys. So I stopped saying what's up guys and started saying things like, good morning everybody. It is so good to see you today and I can't wait to talk about what we're gonna learn today. But along the way, maybe the most valuable thing for me was how I greeted students when they walked in the door. I think more important than how I started the class, as much as I do want to keep doing that and I do think it's valuable, more important than that was when they came up to the door, I greeted them with so much genuine excitement and that started the class off well. That as they came in, no matter what was going on, there was this joyful, happy person greeting them at the door and I would never have done that that way at least, uh, without trying this challenge. And that was really, really beneficial to me. This one way for a day, for one day, start every single class off with excitement for what you're teaching and for the students that you're teaching it to.